you know, I saw a uh, <laughs> interesting story. <laughs> story the other day about how thorough and meticulous the Buckingham Palace staff are. You know, they're preparing for the royal wedding. You know, they have all the, they're, they're all, yes, we're getting everything perfectly and they're shining every little thing and polishing. And, uh, but you know, a lot of that's for show. Their kitchens are just like our kitchen. Well, here, here's, what they, here's what they wanted you to see. Take a look. Here's a story. Of details see the guy, look at, a, look at a tie and jacket. Liz, pan over. Uh, show the other guy. Uh, look. Which will involve see, look at this guy. Look at that. <laughs> but look. Look what he's doing. Look. Look how he's, look how he's cleaning the kitchen. See? It's not. They're not. Yeah, oh, green. He, green. This is the classic one. Hugging a tree. Uh, not green. Hugging your 14-year-old niece who's just starting to develop. Yeah. Yeah. That's no. not, yeah, boo that, because that's not no. green. But no, we're not doing creepy, not creepy. We're doing green, <laughs> not green. Cause of death, exsanguination due to misapplication of medicinal leeches. Yeah, I don't remember there being so many. I only put six leeches. She must have added some herself to, to speed up the recovery process. The woman was painful, but she was mad as I had her. You, you don't understand. They're totally engorged. It's, uh, they're supposed to fall off once they're full. I want a full toxicology report. Heparin? You guys didn't give her blood thinner, did you? Of course not. No wonder the leeches kept feeding. She must have self-administered. She mentioned using heparin in Venezuela. She could have used that to inject it into her IV. I mean, no disrespect to the dead, but uh, she was bad shit. <laughs>